Let's prevent catheter-associated urinary tract infection by applying its care bundle to prevent cauti. What are the practices that we need to bundle? Let's start with the intervention that we could not eliminate. What else? Of course no other than but proper hand hygiene. Followed by the shift needs assessment. Next in mind is the need to ensure proper placement of device. After which, we need to take into consideration that paracare needs to be ensured. And lastly, maintaining its closed system. Please allow me to expound on this one by one. All right? Proper hand hygiene was proven cost and effective in eliminating microorganisms, bacteria and viruses that can lead to healthcare associated infection. Hence, this will prevent cauti. Now let's talk about the shift needs assessment. In shift needs assessment we want to emphasize that insertion of indwelling Foley catheter must be performed only if indicated. In addition, leaving IT on place only as long as needed. We need to put into detail that minimizing urinary catheter use and its duration is vital. Prolonged catheterization can lead to a higher risk for catheter-associated urinary tract infection or cauti, and risk for mortality. And this is significant to women, elderly, and our patients with impaired immunity. Take note. Number 1. If catheter is not needed, do not place one. 2. Avoid use of urinary catheters in patients and nursing home residents for management of incontinence. 3. Use urinary catheters in operative patients only as necessary, rather than routinely. And number 4. For operative patients who have an indication for an indwelling catheter, remove the catheter as soon as possible postoperatively, preferably within 24 hours. Unless there are appropriate indications for continued use. Next intervention and prevention of cauti that is included on our care bundle is the placement of device. We need to you understand that we should place the device securely. Tubings must be free from kinks. You need to clip the bag properly to prevent kinking. Next, keep it dry clean and intact. Drainage bag or what we common call as urine bag must place below the bladder at all times. Do not allow the urine bag to rest on patient bed for a prolonged period of time. This will lead to clogging that will lead to accumulation of bacteria, microorganism and other infectious agents. For the fourth intervention or management, we have paracare. First let's define this. Perineal care is usually called pericare. It means washing the genitals and anal area. Pericare can be done during a bath or as a separate procedure. Pericare prevents skin breakdown of perineal area, itching, burning, odor, and infections. Pericare must be performed minimum once per shift even if your patient has indwelling catheter device. And let us not forget that educating patient and support groups such as family about necessity of pericare and its compliance to promote infection prevention is a must. And for the last entity of this catheter-associated urinary tract infection care bundle, we have the Maintain Close System. Maintaining the sterility is its objective. Continuously maintaining close drainage system is indispensable in infection prevention of our device. Except when Irrigating catheter and when Applying leg bags for continuous bladder irrigation. Remember, the more frequent we disconnect the device, the more frequent we promote entry of multiple causative agents that leads to acquired infection. Again for our care bundle for catheter-associated urinary tract infection. What management or intervention we need to group to prevent infection? Ah! You're right! We have the following. Proper hand hygiene. Shift needs assessment. Proper placement of device. Peary care promotion. And lastly, maintaining its closed system. All right. You're good. Thank you. Please find us.